Hi everyone, welcome to the AV Team channel. Today we're taking you on a new adventure which you hopefully will enjoy. In today's episode, we are going to Limehouse Conservation Area, which is approximately 80 kilometers of cycling in total. This means 40 kilometers there and 40 kilometers back. As you can see in this Google image, it should take us about two and a half hours to reach there. Today we're going to Limehouse Conservation Area, which used to be an industry that was later converted again to a forest. So this conservation area is now having hiking and rock climbing opportunities. But back in the 19th century, this was an industrial location for smelting limestone. For those of you here, Limestone is a common sedimentary rock that is found across many provinces and territories across Canada. So the limestone is smelted in clints. You can imagine these as very big ovens that reach extremely high temperatures. This mixture gets mixed together with sand and water to form lime mortar. That's the stuff that's commonly used in construction material, especially in foundation work. This type of technique was actually first invented by ancient Egyptians about 6,000 years ago. And then afterwards, its usage spread around the world. Other usages for limestone includes usage in paper and pulp production, for water treatment, and also in the mining industry. This particular limestone industry first opened in 1840 and was running 24 hours a day. The operation ceased in 1917. For those of you who don't know, many Canadian landmarks actually used limestone that was processed at this very site. This includes historic buildings such as the Toronto's Old City Hall, hotels like the Royal York, and most Canadian universities. The use of limestone, however, declined with the introduction of cement, which was easier to use. After the industrial set shutdown, this location was converted into a conservation area for people to explore amazing rock formations, natural rock fissures, and also these great hiking trails you can see above. These are natural rock fissures which also have ladders placed along them to allow one to go down and explore further and get the views from the bottom. We realized after some time that bicycling was actually not allowed inside of the trails, so we had to limit ourselves from exploring the area further. However, we decided that we'll definitely come back one day only for hiking purposes and exploring this amazing area.
After a little bit of exploration, we decided to head back home on the same path. Although this was a much shorter journey compared to our other adventures that we have made videos of, we had a great time regardless. Today's team comprised of Vilas and Shekhar. Thank you for watching. As always, your comments, questions, concerns, or compliments are always welcome. Thank you for your time.